Now that I have less of an answer for, what comes after capitalism. It, it is not communism. Communism, there were great experiments in communism, most of which failed. Great experiments in capitalism, which I believe, because we are producing too much, violently wasteful, as I sit here among the, <laughs> the non-essentials of this store, of the bookstore, um, capitalism isn't working. Herman Daly is an economist at the University of Maryland, and he suggests a steady-state economy. It, its model is a straight line. You take just as much out as you need and no more. So uh, that's how I define sustainability, which is able to meet our needs in, you know, with as much of a quality of life as possible without sacrificing the ability of future generations to meet their needs. It's a very common definition of sustainability. Uh, so I think, I, I think, I think that what will follow capitalism will look a bit like cultures such as rural, the rural United States in the 1800s, or perhaps Eastern Europe 50 years ago. But um, with, with the gift of technology. So what we have to do since soon is we have to learn to evaluate technologies so that they're, they're useful, they're more uh, productive than destructive, and that they actually add, they actually benefit human values of family, of community, of generosity, of creativity, of entrepreneurship, and on and on. So I think technology will have a lot to do with how we live, and it's not a matter of going backwards. I believe it's a circle, I believe that, uh, I believe we're cycling forward to some new way of being. Our model of progress has been this uphill line. You know, we, we're going to learn more and more. We have an infinite ability to understand the world. We have infinite ability to conquer the globe. We have, we have the ability to make infinite amounts of money. And that's an a outdated model. The, the traditional model, like from your people and, and from my people, traditionally would have been a circle, you know, that that history repeats itself. We live in the cycles of seasons, of years, of you know, giving birth, dying, you know, giving birth and dying. And Paul Grucco, uh, a, a philosopher and a writer who wrote a book called Grassroots, uh, he says that probably the more apt model is going to be a meandering line where we move in one direction for a while until we see that we need to correct and then we correct and we're always trying to get to this place that makes sense but it involves, it's going to involve a lot of corrections. Mm -hmm. I hope that it I hope that it brings people closer together in community in ways that value human diversity, the panoply of human existence, our, all of our sexual orientations, our skin colors, our diversity of religious beliefs. Not with tolerance, I mean tolerance is a, a horrible word really, but with, uh, with, um, with embrace, with an embrace of, of differences. And in places like rural Georgia, where I live, that's going to be very, very important because many, many people feel left out of their communities. But the new, the new landscape of American economics has to begin in local communities.